I'm here to give you a flash. That's a Hawaiian flash. She is the 9 to 5 morning line choice in the second division of the Standard Bread for two-year-old Philly Paces. Joining me now is her trainer and driver, Ron Steck. And Ron, this is an undefeated two-year-old Philly. And I'm sure everyone can appreciate how hard it is to go undefeated in a season in any sport. I don't care what it is, harness racing as well. How has she managed to keep that victory string intact? Well, uh, she's been a really nice filly. She's uh, pretty much done a lot on her own. She, uh, uh, it uh, hasn't been uh, the biggest task as it is with others because she, she, wants, to, she wants to win. How soon, training her down, did you realize you had something pretty special? Well, she trained down good. Uh, she uh, trained her with another filly, then she seemed to be always be able to beat her. But when we got down to going uh, uh, better than 210, uh, then she started getting away from them, and, and uh, then I thought maybe she was going to be a nice filly. Do you think that horses have some awareness of how good they are? Do you think she knows she's a winner? Yeah, I do. I mean, she uh, she wants to, and, and it, uh, that always helps when they want to do it, being a filly. But uh, she's like training a colt. She just, uh, she, she's all forward. There are horses that like certain configurations. She has raced on the half. She's also raced on the 5 8 mile track. What do you think she likes best, or it doesn't matter? Well, I uh, raced her last week at Northfield on a half. It was the first time, and uh, I was a little concerned. With her. She's a big filly, and, uh, but she took it well and got around there well. So uh, hopefully she can do the same today. She had a wide margin of victory in that victory, and I believe in her lifetime best, 156-1 and one at Pocono Downs. Um, it was a little narrower, but was she well within herself when she took her life best? Uh, she was really good at the Poconos. Uh, she uh, paced in 56 and one real handy that night. And uh, so uh, she, uh, hopefully she can do the same today. When you have a good horse, one that always looks the best in the field, it seems that drivers have a penchant for going forward, putting him on the front and playing catch me if you can. Is that the same strategy that's going to apply today? Well, we'll have to see how it goes. There's a couple nice fillies in there that, that show some front end speed. Uh, uh, I let a horse go and retook at Northfield. Uh, she seemed to do that well. Uh, we'll just have to see how it unfolds today and, and uh, go from there. What about pressure for you, not only as her trainer, but as a driver to keep that undefeated status going? I mean, is there a certain amount of pressure that goes with it? Oh, I think so. Yeah, it. Uh, you got to kind of put the training behind you and, and and go as a driver when you're when you got a filly like that and uh, that's what I did so far and it seemed to work out well she's eight for eight looking to make it nine for nine how many starts do you give a two-year-old filly uh, I think she's got uh, three starts left including today and uh, we'll see that'll probably be it for it. what happens with them during downtime usually when you uh, kick them out yeah, I'm going to turn her out for a while. She's got some early stakes next year, but we're not going to be in too big a hurry to get her ready. Uh, I train up north, and, and whenever she's ready is when we'll start her. All right, Ron, thanks for that look at Hawaiian Flash. Good luck with her today. Thank you. Let's go back over to you. Thanks.